That's an eternity of basketball ahead of us. Another beautiful steal perpetrated by Matt White. The action continues. The let go situation here. Alex Aydin going up against another team. Jeffrey Moore has perfect access to the bucket. Watch yourself on that normal replay of that last bit of action was Juan Fernandez actually wanting to be happy as if Master Jawaski. We're crossing the twilight zone. That's an eternity of basketball ahead of us. It's been two years since he started the Pasig River Cleanup and Dredging Project. Before that, we were doing the Sulyahan River Cleanup Project in 2020. For Pasig River, Mr. Nang is allocating 2 billion pesos to clean up the river. We are pleased to report that uh, so far for the past two years that we have been cleaning up, we have already removed about 1.3 million metric tons of silt and waste in both Pasig River and uh, San Juan River. And we have already covered more than 22 kilometers of the 27 kilometers of Pasig River and here more than 5.4 kilometers of San Juan River. So. Our focus was really more on the shallow areas of uh, both the rivers. Importante yung talaga dredging. Pero mo, one meter lang, ilalagyan mo tubig. Paano hindi aapaw dito sa lupain? Kaya yun ang isang problema. Tara, napakagaling ang San Miguel sa tulong para sa taong bayan. Last two years, medyo mababaw na lang. Walang ganong problema. Oh, hindi pa nag-dredging dito ang San Miguel. Binabaha dati. Pero ngayon, wala namang... Hindi na masyadong mataas ang tubig. Wala na masyadong kaming pangamba dito. Ang mga ganda na collective efforts, we really can solve this problem. Kasi economically, uplift the livelihoods of the poor and the rich. Para magpantay-pantay, ayos lahat para kaginhawa for everyone. We're almost nearing the completion of the river cleanup here in Pasig River and San Juan River. We are targeting to finish by July or August of this year. Our aim uh, to contribute uh, to the community at San Miguel is able to you know, help in the, not only in terms of reducing river pollution, but also to increase the uh, water holding capacity of the river so that we can mitigate flooding in the future. But here we go. This is an eternity of basketball, episode 196 coming up. Our most trending episodes on our the YouTube channel of Globally Ballin'. Box are turned out of till at number one, all the way down to Chito Loisago. Which one is your favorite? Keep watching us on the Globally Ballin' YouTube page. Globally Ballin' Network, globallyballin.com for original articles, audio and video projects. Check out all their social media as well. And you can catch us live on the Twitter page of Globally Ballin'. We're streaming there right now. And Linktree slash Globally Ballin is the link that you need for easy access to all of that. Welcome to episode 196. Ako po si Charlie Kuna, kasama ko si Jay Mercado and Sid Ventura sa araw na ito. Uh, in, on our show, we've had several of them. They're the Jaguars from PSBA. Sunod-sunod yan. Na, na, medyo nakakarami na tayo, guys. Beno Brique, Mondizon, Nilo Cruz, Bebeng Martinez, Sani Cabato, Joshua Villapando. Diba? So isa pang... Jaguar ang nasa show na sa atin ngayon. And of course, another one from the Tanduay uh, franchise. Uh, coming in, played two seasons for the Tanduay Distillers slash Esquires in the PBA after his career at PSBA. Bata ni Nick Jorge ito. We're going to learn all about that uh, on today's episode from Down Under, from Melbourne. Uh, good afternoon. We'll bring him in right now, Mr. Virginio Ver Santos. Kasama po natin ngayon. Sir, welcome on the show. Hi, good Good day, everyone. Uh, sir, maraming salamat sa yung pagtanggap ng aming imbitasyon. You know, I, we, we like talking to the players, especially, you know, there's a preference, I, I think, for us. We like talking to those from the early days of the PBA. Enjoy na, enjoy namin niya. Kasi medyo vague ang memories namin ni Sid. Si, si, si KJ, very clear yan kasi matanda na si Jay. Pero, <laughs> pero para sa amin, medyo, ano, medyo, medyo vague sa amin ni Sid. So we like hearing about what happened in the early days. But we'll even go prior to the PBA. We'll go back to how you started in basketball. You're from Pampanga, which is a hotbed for basketball. And dahil magagaling na nanggaling dyan. So who introduced you to the sport, sir? How did you, you get into basketball? Uh, well, well, first of all, uh, I would like to say it's a pleasure for me to uh, for having me in your show. 
Well, uh, with basketball, I started, uh, you can call, it, call me as a late bloomer in, in basketball. I did, I wasn't, I, I did play when I was uh, in high school, but every time I, I get the ball from my uh, teammates, I don't know what to do with it. Whether to <laughs> dribble or to shoot, I don't know. But uh, I really started uh, when I uh, got into college, uh, first year college in USD, and I played for just for my uh, section in, in engineering department. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I I decided to uh, play a bit harder because I got told that uh, there's nothing I can get from basketball, so I might just well study. So I said, I I took that as a challenge. So that's why I started and uh, play. Uh, what was your height, then, sir? Sorry, what was your height and what position was, would you play? I was only I was only six feet. Well, when I started playing, I was only about about five ten. Mm. So matangkad na rin. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty, pretty tall na rin, na rin uh, for high yeah. school. Uh. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, that, that, I I tried it out in in UST. Unfortunately, Coach uh, Wilson didn't took me. Oh well, he, he did take me, but. Uh, he told me to uh, be a like a resident or uh, mm. tuition, training team, but because I want to have a. In those days, you have a free tuition fee, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. want that, but uh, he he told me to uh, play as a resident and uh, pay for my own tuition fee. I said, I'm, I'm not after that. Mm -hmm. the, so after that, I tried. Uh, Play playing in in the street games in Manila, mm -hmm. and uh, a guy by the same name of Navarro took me to uh, MLQU. Okay. So I tried it out there, and I, and they were about to. Uh, I was about to get in the lineup, but then <coughs> I was a neighbor to. Uh, I know you know Angel Boy Asque. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. yes, my neighbor, and then I he see. said, he said to me to try it out in PSBA, and the the, the tryout was in uh, Rizal Memorial Coliseum. Oh, that was a big day for me. Okay, so I tried it out with. There's so many, many, many of us who tried it out, including Ramon Dizon. Mm -hmm. He's watching right now. He was watching right now. Oh. Yeah, Ramon Dixon and I, we, we tried it out at the same time mm -hmm. be before the other rookies came. And we were very fortunate to get into the team. Mm -hmm. And uh, that one I, I owe to Boy Asque because he was the one who, mm -hmm. let's say, recruited me to the team. Mm -hmm. what I don't know, what, what's the connection, sir, of Boy Asque to PSBA? Yes. Uh. Boy, Boy Asque, well, Boy Asque, when, we, when, we, when I first started, he was our captain ball. He was, mm. he, he was already, uh, I think he was uh, three, year, three years. Mm, so he was playing for them. Okay. PSBA. He was one of the pioneers in PSBA. Okay. When okay. PSBA first started with, uh, in PCAA. Mm -hmm. PCAA, okay. Uh, before yeah. before kay nag before yeah. nagmuka. Yeah. Uh, before nagmuka. So, actually, uh, may may that friend of mine rest in peace. Uh, when uh, actually, if we talk about Boy Asprey, when in, in when he died, mm -hmm. I was in the Philippines because uh, since I came here in Australia, nine eighty six, I I used to go back home every year. Well, at that time, I, I, I went back home. And uh, coming back to Melbourne, you know, in, in, in the airline, they, they, in the airplane, they give you a, uh, a newspaper. Right. I, I read it on the back page of the thing, you know, the sports page, that Boy Asprey died. Even now, I'm getting goosebumps because of this. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't really know what to do. 
Yeah, if it's only I can turn the plane back. Yeah, yeah. I would have done. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the trick that I cannot forget. I was so sad and nearly te tears in my eyes all the way to Melbourne. Yeah, because yeah. You missed it. You missed yeah. it. Yeah, not only that, he's a, he's a good neighbor of mine, but he's a very good mentor as well in basketball. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a good man. Right. I've, right. Got, I've got a lot of experience with the boy after. So by, by by that time, sir, when you got to PSBA, you much improved already for for a guy like Nick Horry to take you into the to the team. Gumaling ka na talaga siguro kasi sabi mo dante when you catch the ball, you don't know what to do. Now I guess you know what to do yeah. already. Yeah, that was that was in that was in my high school days. But when I but like when I I think if you if if you want, I'm a quick learner. Mm -hmm. I'm a quick learner, mm -hmm. but because I, I, I'm also a fan of basketball and I, I really love the sport. So when I started playing in, in my college day, I took it so seriously. Okay. So when, when, I, when, try, when I tried it out uh, in, uh, in PSBA, well, probably be, because of my height as well, that's why I, I'm Mr. Mr. Nick Hall, he took me. Plus, on top of that, I, I have a good attitude towards basketball. And uh, and I thank God we got him as a mentor. And I've mm -hmm. learned everything from Mr. Nick Jorge. And I owe him a lot, especially the discipline that he gave us. Yeah, so one of it, course. It is, yeah. It's terrible, but even after now, I use it. To my uh, work here and all to my uh, whatever I do here in Australia, I, I mm -hmm. learned that from him. Mm -hmm. It's obviously so, one of the coaching greats, you know, in Philippine basketball yeah. history. See, si, si Jorge. But, but sir, you were saying you really loved the sport of basketball. Who were your, you know, your idols uh, growing up? NBA, PBA, or you know, maybe Mika? Well, when I, when I, when I was growing up, uh, I I, uh, I like. Uh, Elgin Baylor, mm. yeah, okay. and Tom, if you know uh, Scotty Thompson, Scotty Thompson, oh, no, no, yeah. not Scotty, not Scotty, uh, David. David, 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 David Thompson. I can't remember his first name, but he was the first one that I saw who dunked the ball. Oh, David Thompson, David. yeah, David Thompson, it, David Thompson, yeah, yeah. He's got, he's got the guy on Ngayon, sir, Ngayon, star ng Hinebra. Yeah. <laughs> Scotty Thompson is <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. David Thompson, the Skywalker, the original Skywalker. So you like you like the guys who can hang in the air, huh? like David Thompson, Elgin Blair, Man Louis Lipad. Yeah, they they're good. They're good. Mm -hmm. Actually, when when I uh, when I uh, was playing with PSBA, we played. Uh, we got the preliminary games in in uh, Arenetta Coliseum for my first year, and uh, the NBA Salem team played. We played mm -hmm. against oh. uh, La Salle, mm -hmm. and they played, you know, Gail Goodrich, mm -hmm. uh, yes. uh, Will Street. Mm -hmm. Will Street, of course. Yes. Yeah, Will Street. You know, O'Hanlon, the, the first guy who dribbles behind his back, Jerry O'Hanlon. Oh, I, I don't know. This, this are before oh. all of you decide before your time, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was that one. And then I, I said, well, it's good, nice, nice game basketball. Mm -hmm. That was my first year in uh, in PSBA. Mm -hmm. Okay. Coach Nick or he let me play. That I wasn't even wearing my own uh, uniform. I was wearing a volleyball uniform. When I oh, okay. <laughs> from, from, you know that. Yeah, from Vic Matira. That's he's a volleyball player in PSBA. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I, I wore his jersey. <laughs> oh, you have to borrow someone. But who? Were, how about locally? Who are your? Who are the guys you looked up to basketball wise uh, locally? Well, uh, not as much as a um, idol, not, not idolizing them. But I like, you know, I am I am a, an underdog uh, player. If you like it, I like to buy it for underdog players or underdog team. Mm -hmm. You know. Like like when to, with the rivalry of Toyota and Crispa uh, when even when I was wasn't playing them yet, 
uh, I, I'm not really, I, like, I just liked who plays good, you know, when uh -huh. they play good, actually. Uh -huh. Actually, the 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 one I, I'm looking at is uh, more on defense than offense. Uh -huh. okay. You know, you know, one of my idols in defense is Dave Reguliano. Wow, yeah, yeah. 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 You know? One of the guys who stopped Shindong Pa. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that, that, uh -huh. that was, that made, that made him famous, so famous. Uh -huh. When he checked Sing Dong Pa. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's right, that's right. Yeah, it's, it's good. You mm -hmm. text. Yeah. Uh, well, na natin ngayon, Sepe. We mentioned Mon Dizon, of course, is watching. Yeah. And uh, Ben Obrique. So the Jaguars mm -hmm. are out tonight. Uh, this yeah. morning. <laughs> and uh, this morning. Welcome. Ben is home, Barry. Say hi to my, mm -hmm. my good teammates. You know, mm -hmm. even if you're not asking, but the, the team. When I first started with the PSB, we were eight rookies on the team. Oh. And out of those eight rookies, there's so many of us who, who made it to the PBA. Out of mm -hmm. those eight. And yeah. we were eight rookies, but we got the championship in the PCAA with eight mm -hmm. rookies in the team. But I, guess, I, I, guess. I would say... Uh, we owe we owe a lot to, to Coach Nick Jorge because he made us one. He made us play as one, as a team, and so all of us became like brothers. That's how intact we are. When someone is going out of out of uh, context, if you like, mm -hmm. we we put him back in line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's how how uh, strong our team was. So this yeah, was yeah. like 1974, 75, if I'm not mistaken. That's right, yeah. Yeah, right. We, okay. we, we, I started, I started uh, in PSB in 1973, 73, okay. 74. Mm -hmm. And from, <laughs> there, there's a funny bit when Ramon Dison and I started in PSB. Yeah? This is the funny bit. When, the coach Nick Hore filled us in at the same time. So, mm -hmm. with all the excitement and all that, at last, the crowd cheering us and everything, it, the jumbo, you know, the center of the court, jumbo, mm -hmm. and the ball was tapped to uh, Ramon. Mm -hmm. So he dribbled all the way down to the opponent's uh, <laughs> And everyone, all of us were screaming, Mon, not there, here, come on! Hindi can't ni Mon sa atin yan. Oh, ma. Then he, re he, re he, he must have realized it wasn't our goal. Yeah, so yeah. So he, he made a U-turn. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good thing he didn't go straight in yeah. for the layoff, <laughs> Well, he was about to, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he, heard, he heard you. Uh, <laughs> he heard us, all of us. Can you imagine all, all of us, his teammates, and all the, all the cheering squad? And in those days, PSBA cheering squad is probably about uh, 30 to 40 people. Now, if you don't hear. <laughs> But the booty that he can exhale, you booty that he can exhale. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sometimes when you're so focused, you know, you don't hear anybody. So, yeah, oh, no, that's, that's also part, part and parcel of being, uh, you know, excited in playing the game. Right, right. Uh, right. Sermon, <laughs> if you're still watching, uh, appreciate it. Oh, yeah, no, no, he knows that. Really? Yeah. He knows that. He knows that. Really? <laughs> did, you, did, you say, did you see he said, really, bro? Uh, okay. Okay, uh, so, uh, is that a denial or a confirmation? Okay lang naman. Okay lang naman. Hindi <laughs> naman sinut eh. Di ba? Hindi naman oh. sinut. Naka-recover okay. naman. There was At a new turn, so that's okay. Uh, hero yan ng game four. Ng championship. Ng, uh, Royal True Orange Royal, hero yan. No? No? So, he, he, he recovered all the way. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, Ramon. I brought, but from that time on, don't get me wrong, but from that time on, he became the the star of the of PSB. He, after, he forgot after, about it now. Sa kalimutan daw niya, I forgot about it. Now he remembers. He remembers it now. 
<laughs> I would I would I wouldn't lie because you know Ramon Ramon Dijon is a not only is a good friend of mine but he's a brother to another mother for, to me. Oh, wow. you know, it, when we used to play in but ba- ba- in in PSB, we used to come home walking together or sometimes run together. We eat together in one plate. Mm-hmm. In one plate. Uh, uh, sometimes we we even argue or sometimes we even fight. You know, we we fry. Our, our uh, favorite dish is, you know, the marinated uh, milk fish, bangus, uh-huh. the marinated mm-hmm. one. I will fry it, and then we we will fight over the the you know the stomach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, bangus, the bangus belly, the favorite part. Yeah, yeah. The, the belly, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah. We fight over that. Yeah, he goes, oh, lamang kaya ata sa akin eh. No, no, that's that's a brotherly hug thing. Pero gawa niyo ba us very nakatawa? No, no, we're talking about the, the PSBA days. I guess it's time that we enter our first segment of the show. It's called the time capsule. This is where we look at a bunch of photos that Sid prepared. This is brought to us by Fitbit. It helps everyone in the world get healthier from counting your steps to giving personalized insights on your heart rate and sleep patterns. Log your exercise and access great tools and content on the Fitbit Premium. That's all on the Fitbit platform. Check out their line of products on Fitbit.com. Feel the power. Okay, pasok tayo sa ating time capsule. And there you go. Uh, let's wow. go back in time and look at this. The, the, so this was the, the team. Anong, anong year to? This is rookie year? Yeah. No, no, no. That this, this was my... I guess this was my... Uh... Oh, hindi rookie year, just a bit of break, eh. Oh. <laughs> I think it was 77. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Seven, seven, I think. So, two of the ben fellows Obrique, who are watching, yeah. no? Ramon Dizon and then Ben O'Brien are there. Yeah. Is that See, Gary Vargas? Yeah, there's Gary, Gary Vargas there. No? Oh, yeah. Yeah, number 13, right? Gary. Ramon Dizon is our captain ball there. Yes. Yeah, number four, siempre, number mm-hmm. four. Oh. Right? And that's Ben O'Brien there. Of course, you can't miss it. You can't miss that. The one with the one with the nap. The one, the one next to him who's not in uniform is uh, mm-hmm. Ernesto Esteban. Mm-hmm. That, 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 he's, he's, a, he's a good player. He's, a, he's also one of our uh, best friends as well. Mm-hmm. There's boy Asco there. Our, our, Jansen, our, our number? Boy, boy Asco is uh, assistant coach there. The coach, assistant yeah. coach, okay. Assistant you know, coach. Because last you know, year, nga pala niya. You know, Sig Guerrero. Yeah. Sig Guerrero. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's watching. watching. He's watching right, right now. He's watching right now. The the one next to him. Okay. okay. That's Boy Asque, and the the one after Boy Asque is the the dean of the school. Mm, okay. That, that's uh. Sig Sig Guerrero was a substitute coach. To Mr. Jorge, then because he was, yeah, I think he was in Europe, Mr. Jorge. Okay. So, okay. Well, that's, well, that's just a photo. That's why I was wondering. Better than UP. Yeah. Sig Figueroa. Yeah. Yeah, Sig Figueroa from UP. Pero sir, ano mm-hmm. yung 1970, no time na to, uh, PSBA was dominant yata, no? Uh, you've been winning uh, PCA titles. But sino pa yung kalaban ni Lage? At sino mga players uh, involved sa kalaban? The one we used to play again in the championship was uh, PCCR. PCCR. Philippine College yeah, Criminology. Uh, NCBA. No, NCB, not, not, not much of the yeah. NCBA. NCBA is our uh, is our uh, thing. Uh, what they call is uh, the 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 team that uh, if they beat us, it's a holiday for them. Uh-huh. Ah, our rival. They, they they don't have they don't have school when they beat us. But that was only, <laughs> that was only okay. one, I, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. P, sometimes PCCR and uh, PMI. Mm-hmm. Ah, PMI. Yeah, Maritime ah. Institute. Uh, yeah, okay. they they were the one. Fiati, sir, hindi pa magaling nung time nayon. Fiati. Sorry. Fiati. Fiati. High flyers. Hindi pa magaling nung time nayon. Say, say, say his name again. Fiati. The, the Fiati. Fiati University. Uh, no, Fiati. Uh, 
Yeah, they, they're, they're, they're okay, but I, I don't think we had a game with them, a um, championship game with them. Yeah. Ah, I see. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have a couple of photos with them. Eh? Calabano I know, was uh, Lyceum. You know what player in Piatti yeah. is Ballesteros. The surname mm-hmm. is Ballesteros. Ballesteros, mm-hmm. okay. So how, how tall were you already, sir? Was it Were you already your maximum height? Like in this photo, you were already... I was not high. Actually, there I was six, six flat, then six foot. Okay. And although sometimes in the write-ups they put six two, but I, I'm only six. I was only six. Now I exaggerated. I exaggerated. I'm, <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm starting to shrink. Starting to shrink already. Yeah. At a certain age, we're all gonna start shrinking. Yes. Except Ramon Fernandez. Except Ramon Fernandez, who's getting taller. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See you know, in this photo, photo, in this photo. Ah, see, my man. Uh, go. There's yes, so sir. many. There's a lot of people whom we lost already here in this forum. Oh, yeah. There is Joe, Joey Ocampo. Joey Ocampo. Yeah. 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 Raul Evangelista. Mm-hmm. There's two of them there, and Boyascoe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is, this is like a second family to me, this, 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 mm-hmm. this thing. Yes, actually, because we've seen the, the reunion photos. We'll see one later. Let's move to the next photo, please, Carly. Let's, yeah, no, yeah, no. Action shots. Mga, para makita naman yeah. natin yung forma ni Sir Ver no araw. This one was, uh, the, 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 the one on the left is uh, against, uh, I think it's against Lyceum. Lyceum, uh, mm, yeah. 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 The, oh, yeah, same the, as the right, oh. In the one in the middle is uh, me when when we got the championship. I had a photo in Rizal Memorial Coliseum. I was I was looking at this photo. So I you, you, you what I note all I noticed from the old pictures, the old photos, guys that we have. Tinamo yung mga legs, yung mga muscles sa legs, di ba? Ne grabe yung kay bato bato talaga yung mga legs. Iba kahit yung last week kay Bobby Salonga, di ba kay Eric yeah. Leano the week before. You know the, those legs are just grabe yung. Because you don't you don't see that now. Eh. You don't. They're not as defined. Now, oh, no. in those days, because the the training that we get is so rigid and you, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> those ones are really hard. They, they're hard as a rock the muscle, which I don't <laughs> have. It. <laughs> you know, they know. Can you dunk the ball, sir? Sorry. Can Can you dunk the ball? Yeah. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, sometimes I do. Sometimes oh, okay. I can. You, you have a dunking. You have a story, right, sir? That you you dunked it when you were uh, trying out. I think in in the. In, yeah, in, in, in MLQ. Yeah. I'm a you. I'm a you. Yeah. yeah, because their ring are a, a bit lower, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then then some some of the players they said, uh, "My goodness, this guy can 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 fly." But mm-hmm. I'm I. I don't know. I, uh, I'm a high leaping person, I think. But not mm-hmm. anymore now. I'm afraid of height. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Comes with age, buzzer. <laughs> Most probably, and the only, the only one that flies now are my eyebrows. But you know, for me, that's the yung hair do of choice, yung hairstyle of choice. Talaga nung panahon mid seventies, ganon talaga. Yeah. Bunot, bunot. Oh yeah. Yes. And uh, I used to be called Prince Valiant in, in those days. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Marami ganyan eh, di ba? Marami kayong ganyan yung hairstyle nun eh. Bokyo, yeah. di ba? Well, actually, when when I got to PBA with with the with the with Tanduay, most of us uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that kind of hair. I'll tell mm, you who. Abit Gutierrez, well, Joy oh. Cleopas, Abit Gutierrez, Rick oh. Sanchez. <laughs> Oh. Uh, uh, De La Rosa. Mm. Oh, De La Rosa. Yeah, yeah De La Rosa. Uh, Jimmy Taguines. Oh, correct. No, have the... <laughs> so, mata. We can see that we have a little bit more. We have a little bit more. Actually, the, on the right uh, photo, that's Alex Clarino. You know Alex Clarino? Oh, yeah. really? Okay. Yeah, Alex Clarino. Uh, the, the late Alex Clarino. Yeah. 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 Right. Afford, okay. Yeah. I would never have known. Okay. No, and of course, serious. Lyceum. No, Lyceum now is doing so yeah. well in the NCAA. They have a chance to be <laughs> champion now. 
That's good. Not that that's yeah. Good. Diba? I think I think their top of the standing was Mapua and Laysio, I think, are leading the NCAA right yeah. now. Uh, Letran just got eliminated yesterday. Letran just got eliminated after three straight championships. Huh? Oh. Because in my days, in our days, uh, the, uh, the ones, the NCAA uh, prominent um, teams then were either San Beda, Ateneo, mm -hmm. or La Salle. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. NC, yeah. Sir, so, venue to? Sa Rizal Memorial po ba to? The one yeah, yeah. Okay. Rizal Memorial. Um, Rizal talaga was crazy. Almost every day siguro may game sa yeah. Rizal Memorial, no? no Whether Mika, uh, NCA, no, UAP, no. that was the place. I think in those days, it's all all amateur games were in Rizal Memorial and all, all the professional games are in Araneta Coliseum. Pwede nga, yeah, yeah. It's very rare that we played in, in Araneta Coliseum. Yeah. What about the Loyola Center, sir? Did you play in the, at the Loyola Center near your school? Or Loyola. You yeah, Loyola. Uh, Loyola, Loyola yeah. We, 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 played some, we played sometimes there against Ateneo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, most of the time we played in Rizal Memorial, even the intercollegiate one, even the intercommercial. We play. We all. They all. They all been played in the San Memorial Coliseum. Yeah. yeah, proximity to most of the schools. Eh? In the back yeah. then, yeah. in Manila, in Manila yeah. the school Manila. That's right. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ac just acknowledging no, that Bernie Fabiosa is watching as well. So, salamat as usual, Sir Bernie. Watches yeah. us every oh, week. Bernie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I I know Bernie. Uh, good oh, evening there. Mm -mm. Oh, sa US naman yan, sir. Sa Kamila mm -hmm. naman. Yeah, Ramon knows them all because they're all there. Yeah, yeah, magkakasama sila doon. That's right, they're together on that yeah. side of the world. Yeah, because sometimes when they, there were times that when they're having a, like a gathering or reunion there, Ramon used to call me and show me everyone. <laughs> even, yeah. when, even, even when Esther Estrada was still alive and, mm -hmm. uh, and Anthony, Anthony Dasalia, uh, yeah. I had mm -hmm. spoken to yeah. them. Then of yeah. course, Rene Kanent, your good friend. My best friend, mm -hmm. my best friend. He, he was the he was the first one that uh, welcomed me to Tanduay, mm -hmm. Rene Kanent. Mm -hmm. right. I, I I remember when, on our first uh, out of town trip to Cebu. Rene was the one who calmed me down because I, that was my first uh, ride on the plane. I was oh, wow. <laughs> and I was, I was so nervous. I tell you, he, he, when the, when air pocket comes, Rene said, "You'll be all right. You'll be all right." He keeps saying that. Oh, nice, my, nice. My he was your, he was your comforter huh, in the time of distress. Yeah, he was. He's a good man, Rene. Well, here's another championship photo. I suppose the champion na naman ito, no? The trophy. Yeah. Uh, I think that's uh, CBIT already. No, no, it's not CBIT. It's a Muka. That's Muka. a Muka. Yeah. M -U this is the same. This is the same lineup, more or less. No, same players. I see Ben Obrique there. Yeah. No <laughs> yep, yep, almost the same lineup. Almost. So the you same bata, the, How about the kid that's sitting with you? Uh, who's that kid? Uh, those are Coach Nick or his uh, kids. Okay. Oh, okay. Si Nikki ba to? Sorry? This is Nikki Jr.? The one Nikki? on... The one on... Nikki? Yeah. The one on... The one on... The one on... is a lady, is a girl, eh, di ba? Girl yung... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, pero si the other one's a boy. The boy is... The, his boy is... What's his name? He's also a junior, I think. Nikki. Si Nikki. Yung ba si Nikki? Nikki. Si Nikki yan. Yeah. 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 UP High. Nicanor Jorge the third, I think it is. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh -uh. He was my classmate in UP before. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Block me. <laughs> I haven't seen those kids uh, for a long time. But uh, mm -hmm. talking about the team, when you say the same people in the team, because like what I said before, there were eight rookies of us who started in PBA mm -hmm. before. So... Yeah. We're all we're all there all the time, all along. Up to right, seven right. years. You grew up together, huh? <laughs> yeah, we're all we're all there. All us rookies. Mm -hmm.
then like the likes of Gary Vargas, he came in 77. Okay. 77, Gary Vargas. And some of some of them, Rom, Romeo Machas in 75. Romeo Machas, yeah. Romy Machasa is a, is a player who was about to play in the PBA before. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, uh, he, he got the ACL mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. he got into PBA. He had an ACL. So That's too bad. Actually, mm -hmm. Coach Nick Jorge wants to take him to PBA as well. Mm -hmm. CDCP, I think, it's right? Very, very unfortunate. Uh, sir, I, I, I'm wondering, you mentioned that there were eight rookies that came in for one particular season. Uh, what happened to the other, I don't know, what happened? Did both, both of the uh, previous players graduate already? Well, the, when, when I said eight of us rookies, are, are, you, are you talking about eight of us rookies in the yeah, That's right. Yes. There were eight of, yeah. eight of you who came in, so eight probably went out as well, right? What happened to these eight? Were they graduates already? You mean graduated in college? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you replaced you. Eight of you came in, so that means eight people graduated from the year before. Eight players. Uh, when when I when I left when I left PSBA and I went to Tanduay, there was still a a year for us to play, right? But I don't oh. know if they they they. I'm pretty sure they finished their. Uh, their four years in college. Mm -hmm. I I didn't because I'm an undergraduate. Like like what I like what I told uh, Charlie before. Mm -hmm. With with my brothers here, they all they all have their uh, diplomas when they graduated, and but I told them they only graduated once. I graduated a lot of times in basketball. Time <laughs> <laughs> you get five thousand, you're graduated. They said you're graduated. <laughs> but without the top, <laughs> they were, they were, the only thing that's missing is the diploma. <laughs> well, that, that was in, in our days because uh, five pounds yeah. is your graduate. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> then then you go for the pros and then you become six. Man. But you were watching a lot. Were you watching a lot of Mika basketball during this time? Would you would you watch the Mika players? And, you know, well, we, is there we, anyone we, that... I do. I do watch uh, some, but... Mm, yeah, I do watch, and then I do I watch the Philippine team as well. Mm -hmm. When when I was in high school and in college, we still watch it. Yeah. Did you get to play any practice games against these these Mika players? You know, get to meet them and and, and you know get to know of these stars. You know, obviously that's a time of you know Toyota and Crispa were there already. The Meralco, the Concepcion franchise. All of that, you know. So, were you able to see meet these meet these guys? Yeah, yeah. When when I when I turned pro, when I when I played in the PBA. Oh, okay. Uh, but not when you were with PSBA. Yeah. No, well, when when I was in the PSBA, PSBA, you mean? I mean yeah, I when mean, you were still when you were still playing in PSBA, did yeah, you get to only, meet the Mika stars? Not, not really meet them, but the only one that I met who was in the pro then. Is uh, boy cats, you know, mm. Rudy. Rudy of cats. Because, Rudy Rudy of cats. because his wife teaches. Uh, she's a she's a P instructor in PSBA. Oh, okay. he, okay. he comes. He comes to the gym most of the time and and uh, pick her up. Okay. But that's why we see him there. Okay. But, uh, some, Sorry. some of the players in Mika and all that. You know, we had. I hardly see anyone mm -hmm. only only the time when i only see them when the time i played in the in pba mm -hmm. yeah well actually so, uh, it, you go ahead sir when, when i uh first play on my first game in, uh, when i players came to tanduai i played in the for uh, tanduai in the Batasan Pambansa, you know the KBL, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're in yeah. Danny Cloro was in the campaign. Yeah, yeah. Danny Cloro was uh, running for the a member of the thing. Pablo and also Pablo. Batasan Pambansa. Yeah, and also Ali Elizalde. 
Manda. I think yeah. Freddy. Well, I think it was Freddy, right? Who ah, ran? Freddy. Yeah. Freddy's the one who ran, right? Was it was it Manda yeah. or Freddy? Oh, one of them. I'm not quite sure who, but but uh, every time they have a, a a meeting in in one place, we play first Crispa against Tanduay. I mm -hmm. see. Okay. I don't know if you know that because, like, mm -hmm. uh, five five. Five members of Tanduay and five members of uh, CRISPA together, and the other ten on the other side as well. And we played against each other. Okay. That's, that's the time I met uh, the CRISPA players like uh, Atoiko, Dilipesa, Gidabin, mm -hmm. Bernie Fabiosa, Ray Franco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the only yeah. that's the time. Uh, yeah, we were aware about uh, Chris, the CRISPR players uh, helping out Pablo Floro uh, during the campaign. I didn't know about uh, I didn't know about the Tanduay players. Apparently, mm -hmm. you were playing also. Yeah, for for Elizalde because they ran yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. they ran. Sure. Is there anything wrong with your uh, microphone, Jay? I, I, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, well, we can hear we can hear Jay naman. Uh, pero maybe just talking to your mic na lang, Jay. I will, I will. Uh, I'm curious. Yeah. What 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 team is this, sir? This photo. UTM. Uh, this the, UTM. We, this one when we played uh, our first game in Danse. No. You know, in Nicore. Yeah, yeah. That is uh, that's what we learned from Nicore. The double teaming. That was that's smart. Is how that. Marty Saldana, Ma Ma Saldana, yeah, UTM. Yeah, that's, that's Marty Saldana, and and uh, he was playing with ITM. I don't. Okay. No, sir. Uh, no, sir. UTM. He, he played for Solid the, Mills. Ah, uh, Solid Mills. Sorry, it's Solid yeah. Mills. The UTM, uh, yeah, Universal Textile Mills, yeah, yeah, that's UTM. UTX, eh? Oh, that's UTX, oh, yeah. yeah, Solid Mills. Uh, what is this? Uh, this was the first uh, game that it was was televised. In, oh. in Inter. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's, that's Ramon and myself. Yeah, hindi na number four si Ramon Dizon dyan, you know? Ibang number na niya, you know? Parang ili, one, one something yeah, sa global uh, What number he was? I think he was number eight. But then you, you kept number six. Ikaw tuloy-tuloy ka sa number six. So what, what, what league is this? What tournament is this? Sabi ni Ben Abrique, inter-club daw. Sabi ni yep. Ben Abrique. Oh, inter-club, okay. Inter yeah. okay. Yung mga panahon ng Suma Kumagay. Yeah. Yeah, su yeah Suma Kumagay. Eh. And uh, also, uh, what, Talon Shipper? Yeah, Talon yeah. Shipper, yeah. But this is, right. this is after your PSBA career already. So tapos ka na sa PSBA. This is amateur... No, or this is no, you were still a student here. Okay. Ah, Pero okay. iba na yung iba yung tawag sa inyo because interclub siya. May sponsor siguro yun, yung dancing. No, because uh, the, the dance is a company, is a hairstyling company. Uh, right. Yeah, yes. It's a groom shop. And it's owned by, it owned by uh, Mrs. Jorge. The mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. so that's, a, that's a sponsor for the team. Okay. So they, they, right. they formed the team and they took us to play there. Well, actually, okay. uh, that team, Danse, half six from PSBA and six six from Adamson. Oh, okay. Mm. Sino, 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 sir? Yung mga Adamson. Who coach are the Adamson players? Coaching both of us. Adamson. Yes, yes, yeah. Because yeah, he goes yeah, to Adamson. Uh, That's uh, right. Uh, yeah. Anyone, uh, anyone, uh, <laughs> anyone who made the PBA from that Adamson, the, the six Adamson players, anyone we know? The ones that we 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 uh, in the in our team then was uh, I don't know if they made the view like uh, Benji Poblete. Okay, Poblete. yeah, yeah. Uh, that's right. Bobby Segura, the Bobby brother Segura. of uh, the brother of Bobby. Bobby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Narj Makam. Narj Makam, yeah. Uh, that uh, I can't remember the names. <laughs> We're testing your memories, sir. Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I met these uh, guys because of Ben Obrique. <laughs> ben Ben Obrique wasn't with us then, no, no. I think. No, no, no. no. Nakilala daw ni Jay. Nakilala daw ni Jay yung mga yan dahil kay Ben Obrique. Ben Obrique introduced Jay to them. Yeah, Nards and Bobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yung din naalala ni Ramon Dizon at ni Ben Obrique, o Poblete, Segura, they're putting the names on, on the comments. Yeah, yeah. Those were yeah, the guys. They're, yeah, they're, they're all good too. Uh, yeah, I wanted to ask you about this one. Sorry. Uh, it says NFAC. This is uh, from National Food Authority. From yeah. The the director there is uh, Domingo Panganiban. Yes, yes, that's right thing. How did you end up playing for them? Well, uh, Coach Nick Jorge was the one because he's he's a friend of, uh, of uh, Director Panganiban, mm -hmm. and uh, Director Panganiban then wanted to uh, go into uh, I don't know government uh, tournament, government offices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, GCAA. So, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Coach Nick asked me if I want to uh, play, and, and Boyasque was with with us too. Mm -hmm. uh, and I said okay. So that's where I earned my uh, first salary in, in playing basketball. Ah, okay. Open court, <laughs> fan, <no>? Yeah, that was <laughs> court. Hindi, hindi ba lang covered court, ano, sir? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's only. Uh, that was only at the back of the office. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so elliptical park parking area. The elliptical circle. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I remember this guy uh, that I, uh, I am having a rebound with this uh, Kalayan. This the surname mm -hmm. is Kalayan. Yeah. Yeah. He looks taller. He looks taller than you. Parang mas he? sa sayo. Yeah. He's taller than me. He's about six foot four, I think. In the in the write up, the write up on the left side, it says that you had sixteen points and nine rebounds, including oh. the winning rebound in the last twenty three seconds to seal the win. <laughs> 80, 82 eighty ang panalo niyo, You beat the national treasury. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pero nakalagay dito six two forward kayo. Six two. So yeah, <laughs> as you said earlier, they they exaggerate the height. Because six two ang nakalagay <laughs> dito. Eh. Look at. Uh, I was more of a defensive player rather than a point player. Because, uh, I don't know. That's why uh, I like uh, the defense. Uh, the fact of the matter is our coach there is uh, Billy Avarientos. Oh, haba haba. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I, I, the, uncle, the, the uncle of Johnny. Mm -hmm. is, he, is he uncle or dad? Uncle, uncle, uh, uh, uncle. Tito, Tito Bale. Oh. And Johnny is the uncle of the other, of the current Arbariento star in, I don't know. He's also in Korea. RJ. Yeah. Oh, it's RJ. Sir, I, yeah. I couldn't help but notice your shoes here. No, you're sporting the no, Chuck Taylors. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> Converse, <laughs> no? <laughs> mm -hmm. Chuck that's, Taylors, that's yan, eh, di ba? Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to support, huh? Canvas. Oh, canvas. Yeah. <laughs> In those days, those are the only ones that we can afford to buy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just easy to get. Hey, hey, mahal lang converse, eh. mahal lang converse, di ba? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe those are they're coming back, yeah. yeah. Right. So this is another the 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 uh, edition of Sports Weekly was January twenty to twenty seven, nineteen seventy eight. That's the week. <laughs> So prior so this to is you a, joining the PBA. So what's it? This is a 45-year-old yeah, photo. 45-year-old photo. Ito. That was the that was before I uh, became P before I uh, signed up for Tanduay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So this is in between. So oh. you're you're you were done. You were done with your PSBA playing days already when you did this, right? Matter of fact, we, well, I've done that uh Simultaneously, you know that. P oh, okay, PSB. sorry, that was a. Okay. Yeah. And, and in, uh, yeah, we. Yes. I've done that simultaneously, and uh, and in those days, because there was no, there were no more Mika. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mika was disbanded. If you, oh. if you yeah. remember. Now uh, it was disbanded in 1981, sir. After 81. Okay. So we have by time now. Yeah, we have by the 81 pa nag nag ano nagkaroon pa ng upcore yun eh upcore kami baka may hiatus or something oh okay. then wala wala 77 ano 70 may mga nag champions siya 77 78 eh uh, you're referring probably sir to the national seniors maybe it's the national seniors national seniors 
Maybe. Maybe that's what you're referring to. Because it was still Amica until 1981. You're talking about this uh, photo? No. What you oh. mentioned about the Mika folding up. Oh, the Mika, yeah. It, 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 the Mika was disbanded in 1975, I think. Uh, ah, I think what you... I, I, Ah, uh, the because, yeah, because, went, because went the PBA, PBA. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, many because of the teams went to the PBA, right? Uh, it eventually yeah. resumed, but it eventually uh, resumed yeah. until 1981. Because, because uh, in our playing days, we mm -hmm. all, all our our aim is to play with the Mika, and mm -hmm. then it was disbanded, and it became the the PBA came because right, yeah, the right. top the top teams uh, uh, yeah. decided to bolt from the Mika and. Formed the PBA yeah. in 1975. That's why right, right. there's a bit of a change in, in, in the ambition of players to become a Mika player. But in my days, they, they say uh, PBA is the top one. So yeah, we yeah. go PBA. That's right. So aside from, so this is your, you, we can consider this photo, this is your amateur career. Right? This is between school yeah, and the pros, right? This is your amateur. Did, did you play for any other team aside from the NFAC? Mm, no, no, no. That's so that, was, so that was your team. Yeah, that was your team. Uh, how, if I'm curious, sir, how, you said this is you got your first salary here and all of that. How much were you getting? How much were you oh, getting not, for the not, NFAC? Not, not in Dancer. In in uh, in Masagana ninety nine. You, you mean? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm receiving one thousand eight hundred every fortnight, every fifteen days. Mm, not bad. Mm. Three six, three six a month. Oh, that's pretty okay, good for 1978. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, but the money was earning $8,000 already by then. Oh. So, yeah, that's malaka, good. Malaka. Sorry, sir. Go on. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, $3,600. Yeah. So. Okay, na yon. <laughs> ano tong investor, yes. sir? Well, what team is this? The investors. Finance? Uh, what, what? Hindi. Sorry? What, what what team is this? The investors. What what's the that's brand? The, that's we used to be the first uh, in the first interclub. We we played with Danse, as you know. Right, and then, uh -huh. and then on the second interclub, we we played. Uh, we had a different uh, sponsor, which is uh, Aracor Investors. Ah, oh, okay. so you know. Okay. So that's Aracor, that. Yeah. So, so of course, and then see. Uh, so you see, sir, sir Ver is the one on the right side. Sa baba, katabi ni Ramon Dizon as usual. Yeah, with very long hair. Long hair, ha? Hanggang, hanggang shoulders, hanggang balikat uh, na, sir, ang buhok dito, ha? Humahaba na. Yeah. Pang BST and company na. Si Ben Obrique naman, uh, sir, si Sir Ben Obrique, medyo, nabawasan naman. Uh, na, medyo na, oh, nabawasan medyo tinabasan na. yung, yung afro. And then, of course, andyan si Bebeng Martinez, ha? Standing beside Bebeng, Bebeng. Bebeng Martinez there, next to okay. our coach. Yeah, and then Benji, Benji Poblete on his right. Poblete. And hopefully we can get him as guest also. <laughs> yeah. Who's, who is this fellow, sir? Uh, second from the left standing up. You may conti bigote. The first second. player, the one beside the guy. The one beside the little guy in the black pants. The first player na, na, mal, na malago yung buhok. Parang familiar siya. Uh, the, the third one? No, no, the, the, the first, the first player standing up from the left. Oh, this, this one standing next, next to the assistant coach. Yes, yes. yes. that's uh, Marinas. His surname is Marinas. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And Marinas, though, sabi ni uh, Mondison and ni oh. Beno Brique. <laughs> yeah. Edward Marinas. Marinas. Uh, Actually, uh, that guy plays volleyball for PSBA. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, Ano, may isa bang nanonood oh? Ha, sir, papakita ko lang yung comment ha. Ayan oh, I'm watching Ver. Yeah. All Thanks. the way from uh, the West Coast. And then another one who's watching, oh sorry, here. Yeah, si Nilo Cruz. Hello everyone. Yeah, si yeah. Nilo Cruz. Yeah. So Salamat. Naglabasan talaga sila lahat today. Thank you so much. <laughs> My boss Rene. Ito, ito niloloko ka na sir Ver. Niloloko ka na ng ng ano, partner mo. <laughs> Kailangan ka na raw tulungan. <laughs> anyway, anyway he, can, he can say that because I'm older than him. Sige, 
ala sekarang sini sini lagi. What can you do? What can you do when you have a brother like that? So, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just having, he's just poking some fun. But okay, but you can see because the how how the generations or the the, the times yeah. change. When you look at the photos, how the hairstyles change also, di ba? As we as we go from photo yeah. to photo, pa pahaba na pahaba yung buhok eh. And then look at yeah. yung team forma ni Coach Nick. Para sa si Tito Iduke dito, naka all white. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> coming back to uh, thing. Sorry. Coming back yeah. to uh, to Coach Nick mm -hmm. uh, about his discipline. We all have experience uh, with the discipline with Coach Nick. Mm -hmm. I, I myself, that's why I, I, I told you that uh, Up to now, I, I am. I do remember how strict he was in in regards regarding uh, his uh, time and his discipline. Mm -hmm. There was one time that I uh, I got late to practice. I was late only by maybe two, three minutes, the most three minutes. He made me run. I don't. I don't know if you know PSBA. The gym that we've got in PSBA is on the sixth floor. So he made me run from sixth floor to the ground and back, and count that one. Mm -hmm. Right. Go down. Come back up. That's one. And he made me run 20 times. Oh. <laughs> wow. Kaya, kaya naman pala ganun yung legs din yo sir. Ganun oh, ba yung muscles sa legs? Wow. <laughs> Imagine that and each and every floor has a toilet. So if you want to drink you can drink, but you cannot because he's got a person watching all oh, those toilets so, yeah. so I can drink. Wow. That's how 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 bad it is, but it's for for a good mm, For my good mm, sake, I think, because yeah, yeah. ever since I came here in Australia, I never want to be late, not even a minute. <laughs> you took that lesson right. hard. I learned, I learned my yeah. lesson from that. Of course. You know, nowadays, if, you do, if, you do, if, you, if a coach does that to a player, the, the player's parents will sue the coach. Yeah. That's, That's what happens now. And see uh -huh. see how, the, how, it, how it changes. But yeah. for us, we cannot do anything then because uh, our, our father, Nick Corhe, has told us that that's whatever he says, that's the rule, that's the thing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. he, that's what goes, goes, yeah. It yeah. goes. What he says, his rule is law. Yeah, we, that's the way. That's the way his word is law. His word is law. Yeah, his word is law. Did you, did you want a funny story about this? Uh, yeah, this go. Yeah. go. Sure, sure. Uh, we were not allowed to smoke. Well, uh, I, I don't smoke anyway, but we were not allowed to smoke. So every time, this uh, this will uh, this will make uh, Ramon laugh. Because every time, every time we we he he comes uh, like we see Mr. Jorge coming towards us, he will smell our. Uh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. One of one of the former guests told said that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, he was on our finger. But you know the funny bit? Ramon and I, we were walking on the corridors of PSBA, and here comes Coach towards us. But because he just had a smoke, Ramon, he picked on his nose while he was <laughs> picking on his nose. So Mr. Hori wouldn't smell it. <laughs> Magaling talaga point guard talaga. That's what, I, that's what we call uh, using using the brain. <laughs> using your fingers and your brain. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> nice. I would I wouldn't tell you the other one, but uh, it's a bit uh, <laughs> yucky. Yeah, we might we might get banned. We might get banned. So. <laughs> We'll stick with that one. I think this is the last photo of the first half of our time capsule. That's a great photo, though. Ganda, ganda no mga team photo natin. So we just remind everyone we're part of the Global Ebola Network. Listen to us and watch us on Spotify. And if you do, please send us some love. Rate us with a five-star rating on Spotify, guys. You can become our monthly supporter for $4.99 or $250. Pesos. 
on Spotify. We'll recognize you on our future episodes and we will love you and cherish you forever. Like and follow Globally Ball in Southeast Asia on Facebook because a lot of the tidbits from the different shows on the network will be there, posted there. So, tingnan nyo po yan at follow po ninyo. Ito po ang time capsule. Hatid sa atin ang Fitbit. It helps everyone in the world to get healthier from counting your steps to giving personalized insights on your heart rate and sleep patterns. Log your exercise and access great tools and content on the Fitbit Premium all on the Fitbit platform. Check out their line of products on Fitbit.com. Feel the power. Ayan, pasok tayo, no? So, you're playing for NFAC. Uh, maganda rin ang laro mo dyan. And eventually, as you said, the, the intention, sir, was the ambition was to go to the PBA. And you did that in 1977. How did that happen? How did you sign up with Tandway? Well, what happened is I was uh, playing in the inter intercollegiate game in San Memorial Coliseum. And uh, after the game, uh, Coach Loisaga and Eddie. I can't remember Eddie and, and Bobby Litawa. I can remember yeah, Eddie Sterney. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they approached me. They asked me to have a seat, uh, you know, on one of the benches in, in the Sal Memorial, one of the chairs, and they, they talked to me. And Coach Loisaga gave me an offer to play for the Tanduai. Mm -hmm. at, the, at that time, I, I was... Uh, my my uh, focus was uh, to play for the national team because at that time, Lito Puyat, who was the BAP president, mm -hmm. was uh, talking to somebody and that somebody talked to me about uh, trying it out to the national team. And uh, I said yes to them that I'm going to try, try it out to the national team, but then... Uh, Coach Lusaga offered me that, that uh, to play for the Tanduai. And in those days, whether, I don't know if you're away with this, in those days in 19... Actually, I, I uh, signed up for Tanduai in 1978, not 1977. Uh, in those days, uh, we, uh, I... Uh, you know, when you're when you're a member of a big family, and uh, our, our father then just retired of working, and I've got brothers who who wants to still continue their studies, and I said, okay. I told my my mother, said, if you want, and I, I showed my father the contract, and to have a look at it, if you want, I will. Uh, I will sign up for this just for the sake of getting my brothers to to continue their uh, school, their college. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, as we we went discussing it and forwards and backwards, uh, I ended up signing with with uh, Tanduai and and uh, left the thing my my uh, ambition to be, to become a Philippine yes. player mm -hmm. to play for the Philippine team. Oh, what right. Philippine team was this, sir? What, was this the youth or was this the men's eight, uh, was, team for the, for the it ABC? Was the, it's actually the Philippine team for for Pestasukan. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. okay. Pest yeah, yeah. And, and also the Asian Basketball Championship. Yeah. Yeah, I, really love. I, I, I most dearly love 77, you know. 77. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, this picture is 78. Yeah, yeah this picture is 1978 already because there's si Abe Monson. Jimmy, Jimmy Manansala. Yeah. Jimmy Manansala, Abe, yeah. Abe Monson was a rookie, same, same time as me. Yes, right. ah, so, sabay kayo. So, so but yeah. Jimmy Manansala kasi 78, eh. Rookie of the Year sa dito, eh. Yeah. It's Jimmy, Jimmy Taguines was 77 Rookie of the Year. Magkasunod right. yung dalawa, eh. Tanduay right. pareho yan, eh. That's Jimmy Taguines on the left, right? That's right, yeah. Beside, yeah. beside Vic Sanchez, yeah, Victor, we call we call him Binyan, yeah, ah, Puto, Puto Binyan, <laughs> Binyan. He, oh. used bring, he used to bring Puto to uh, Amy yeah. Yeah, 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 even until <laughs> even until Joe Cantana and the rest of the commentators, yeah, yeah. 
I, I counted they... there's six six guests uh, of ours on the in this photo, no? See, si Rick Katakuta and John Freddie Webb, Rene Canet, and then the three on top are Mike Bilbao's not Jimmy, in the photo, right? Ja, Jamie Vick and then the Surveyor right now, no? Yeah. Sana so, nga si uh, Mr. Cleofas comes on the show Good. soon. Good. Good. Yeah. Abit, yeah. Abit Gutierrez is at the back without uniform. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Injured siguro siya dyan, no? Injured siguro. And Mike Bilbao is not in the photo. Oh, wala si Mike Bilbao dyan, no? Yeah. So that, yeah, that's Mike was seven yeah. Seven guests. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. the, the si Bert De La Rosa. Si Bert De La Rosa, yeah. si Abit Gutierrez, Sir Jimmy Taguines, as you mentioned earlier, saka si Sir Ver, ang pare-pareho ang hairstyle. Tapos yung, yeah. yung iba naman, pare-pareho rin. Si Vic Sanchez, Manansala, si Katakutan, di ba? Freddy Webb, sila naman yung pare-pareho. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Nakakatuwa eh, no? Ganda, saka ganda ng uniform. I like this uniform. Yeah. Uh, of wala lang yung ganyan, ano? yung mga diagonal na oh. lines. Ano? So, ano? Sir, uh, And that's Gene Moore. That's Gene Moore, by the way. Oh. Yeah, Gene Moore, yeah. So when you entered the the PBA in 1978, um, you know who was the first player who uh, you know who who welcomed you to the league? You know physically, you know gave you a hit. You mean in a, in Tandu, I think? No, in yeah, uh, an opponent, an, your opponent in the in the PBA. Who was your first the first opponent who you know sort of uh, roughed you up or gave uh, you a hit? I would say. Uh... I had a, I had a bit of a, if you like, a bit of. Every, everyone get hits you anyway, mm -hmm. and if you want, <laughs> you can hit them back. But I, would say, I had a, I had a good hit by uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Mariano. Oh, Jimmy Mariano. Okay. Oh, Jimmy Mariano. Wow. Okay. He, he wasn't, he wasn't an intentional one, but because we, we went up, we went up in the air together, right, and uh, for the rebound. I got the rebound, but I got the hit as well. So, I, actually, after that rebound, I remember that one of uh, uh, Philman Bank's uh, fan, I guess, mm -hmm. as soon as I got the thing and, and I went, I passed the ball to my teammate. Somebody yelled at me underneath the ring, oh, underneath, Lord. under, just at the back. They said, "Hey." How can you do that? You haven't got a name yet. Uh, what I did, I, I turned around and showed showed him my name at the back of my <laughs> That's my name, Sample. You know? Dika <laughs> <laughs> in out rebound mo si Jimmy Mariano. Eh. <laughs> that, that doesn't matter. Right? Once you get yeah. into the play, there's no such thing as there there are a lot of a lot of players have got have got the star complex. Or oh, they, they, they used to be, well, they were there before me. So I respect them that way. But when it comes to the game, a game is a game. Whether, whether you're this high or this short or you're good, you're bad, you're still a player that you, I had to tackle. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You know? And, and uh, like what I've learned in basketball is that every time you play, you have to play a different game because you don't have, you don't play the, the same person all the time so right. they have their, their their different moves so you have to move differently as well yeah, that's, that's right, right. so yeah, the, go answer no sorry you can no, i was going to say so you can you came into this, this team and, and a couple of the guys here are, are were were great already by the time freddy Webb was an olympian a superstar but, you have Cleofas, who you know was one of the best shooters, mm. and and then and, and so you you you're suddenly your teammates with these guys. How how was it? I mean, were they okay? They were good to the young guys who came into the team. This team was uh, the the most accommodating team that I have, I guess. And, and uh, they 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 all welcome me. They they all mm -hmm. welcome me. Uh, it's like uh, I've been I I fit in well. In the in the team because they they they, they welcome you because uh, even though I, I say I'm a rookie and then they don't they never showed me that they're better than me mm -hmm. so we mm -hmm. I, I I played in in the team like a team member not not somebody who's new mm -hmm. the first one that uh, that uh, welcome me really welcome me is uh, Rene Rene Canin. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Pagin, Joey Cleofas, 
you know, Abbott Gutierrez, mm -hmm. Abe, Abe Bonson, because we were together as a, as a rookie, Rick Kataputan. Mm -hmm. Rick Kataputan, yeah. because, uh, because we knew each other when we used to play. He mm -hmm. played for NCBA. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And, and I played against uh, against him when I was in PSBA. Mm -hmm. So we, and also because Rick Kataputan is also from Pampanga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ines, from Pampanga and JB Salad. Yeah. Correct. Oh, yeah, no? <laughs> Dami nga pala. Sa team Pampangan. na yan. Pampangan. But Ab 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 Abed Butcher is, is a good man. He, because we, we're the only ones single there. We, we're the only ones who are not married in that team. Mm. So we get along with that. <laughs> yeah. sabay, sabay kayo lumabas, sir. Ang laking tao ni uh, Abe Monzon, no? At least in this photo, Abe yeah. Monzon's a big guy. Yeah, he's, he's, much he's, yeah he's tall. He's tall. He's as tall as... Uh, Coach, uh, hello, um, hello, yeah. Actually, when, uh, if I may add, when Coach Kaloy uh, passed away, I, I I was there in the Philippines and I managed to uh, to uh, sit on the, his wake. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, and uh, I I, uh, I was able to say goodbye to him. What was he, was he? playing for her? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, playing yeah, for yeah, him. Yeah. Sure. What was it like I, playing for Kaloy? Uh, the great Kaloy uh, Saga? Well, look, uh, to me, a coach is a coach. Whoever is your coach, uh, he can tell you as much and he can, he can show you as much. And mm -hmm. it's up to the player. It's up to you if you're going to grasp the, that thing, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever he teaches you, it's up to you. But any coach that I, I had so many coaches, but uh, they're, they're in the sense of coaching, they're all the same. It, it, it depends on how you approach what they're teaching you and how you how you uh, perceive it. So uh, with, with Coach Kaloy, yeah, I didn't have much of a relationship, if you like, because. Uh, I haven't played that that many games with him. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's it's not my my, uh, my PGA career is not not as classic as uh, someone else or everyone else because uh, I was uh, unfortunately I, I didn't I didn't became a star if you like, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't I don't I don't blame him for that. But I, I thank him for taking me to the to the peak of my career. Oh. Oh yeah, these are your, your some of your buddies. These are nice photos. Miss my my boss Rene. Yeah, and by the, the way, uh Sir Rene had a comment here. It says you're a very good golfer. Oh mm. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he got to play in Tory Pines because of you. Yeah, I, that's what you know. That's his comment. I'll tell you the story about uh, regarding that Tory Pines. I was I'm here in Australia, right? And I was talking to uh, Rene. He said, I, and I asked him one day, uh, "Did you want to play golf there?" Because he was playing golf there every time he posted. He, he was playing with the other players there. I I asked him, "Did you want to play to, in Tory Pines golf course?" He said, it's hard to book there. At least you need at least three years to, to get a booking. Yeah, said, that's no. I'm coming. I told him, I'm coming there. This this was in year, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's 2007. 2007 when, when, when I uh, went there. And I asked him, did you want to play the Tory Pines golf course? He said, oh, we'd love to play there, but we cannot get a booking. It's very hard. He said, okay. I said, you you, you gather the players that you play with, how many flights you want, because there's four players in a flight. Mm -hmm. And then he managed to get 16 players. Wow. I said, okay, I, I will be the one to book it. They said, you're in Australia. 
how can you book in the USA, in Australia? I said, leave it with me. I said to him, you only play golf. I know somebody <laughs> who, can, who can, who, I will get your booking there. <laughs> I went to America and I booked him in and they, plus that on top of that, to play in Torrey Pines, you have to pay at least $200 a game. Mm -hmm. I got them to, to, to play and to pay $80. Wow. <laughs> and they said, how on earth did you get that booking when you're from Australia and you're not from America? I said, that is the thing. When you, when you have a connection, <laughs> then yeah. you, you'll be able to do it. But they didn't yeah. know that one of my friends who used to be my teammate in, in Pampanga, in Florida Blanca, his name is Rudy Alberto. He's a member at Tory Pines. And nice. he, 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 he's one of the, the guy who, uh, when, whenever uh, US PGA Golf is, tournament is in, is in Tory Pines, he, he's one of the organizers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's why he got us to book there. <laughs> and when they played there, they said, my goodness. Lucky we got a friend from Australia who can book us in there. <laughs> Long distance booking, huh? Long yeah, distance booking. They didn't know that it was my friend who, who organized that, not me. But I told them, look, I'm from Australia, you're from America, but I got you booked here. Yeah. Sikap na sikap ka nun, sir. Idol ka nila. Of course, uh, of course on, on the left, that's that's with Mr. Ben Obrique. Eh. On the yeah. right, that's Rene Canet. Yeah. Former guest on our show as well. So, what was year itong picture with uh, Ben Obrique? With Ben, that was uh, 2016, I think it is, or 2015. Mm -hmm. Well, you've you've uh, you look different in that photo, sir. Yeah, because we, these guys they huh? they said we're gonna have a reunion. Oh. They said to me. We want to put our... Oh, this one is in 2014, I think. Yeah, 2014. And they, they told us to bring us back our, our uh, hair when we were <laughs> playing in P PSBA. So I started to grow my hair there. Okay. Mm. That's right. That's bring why it I back. It. I managed to bring it back uh, down to my ear here. And uh, in 2016, uh, I had it down here. I didn't cut it. And then they, they, they didn't do it. So they, they tricked me on that. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm, I'm, I'm just curious. You mentioned something before that it was Kaloy Loy Saga who recruited you when you were playing yeah. in a collegiate game, right? Um, yeah. um, during that time, what, was, what did uh, Coach Kaloy tell you? Why were they looking... Why were they asking you to join Tandwai when there were other options that Tandwai that you could have had with Eco in the Mika A, uh, like Jimmy Manansala and E. Bonson came from the Mika A? What did they tell you? What did they like in you? Well, then what what uh, Kaloy asked me to to do then is because uh, he, he 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 thinks he's he's uh, in looking for a uh, uh, a utility man. Because mm -hmm. what, what I play in my college days, what I play, I was a utility man. Like, mm -hmm. I can play center, guard, and forward. Correct. So that, that's what he said, that he, he likes the most out of me. And, and, and I think he, he liked uh, the way I play my defense. Mm, because okay. back, back in those days, uh, Coach Nick Jorge taught us how to to uh, defend, the defense. And I remember, I don't know if you know Dale Brown. I had a clinic with Dale Brown. LSU, yes. He is from UCLA, I think. LSU. Uh, LSU. When he was talking to uh, Coach Nick, and I remember him saying the best offense is defense. Mm -hmm. And uh, Coach Nick Jorge, after his tour from uh, after his uh, thing in America, 
he taught us how to uh, uh, play charging, the charging mm -hmm. foul. And mm -hmm. we, we mastered that. And I myself, uh, when I was playing in the amateur, I get uh, an average of 15 charging fouls. Wow. Yeah. Because uh, we, to, to get a charging foul is just to stay where you are, mm -hmm. not even don't move anything, not even a finger. Without and, uh, flopping, sir, without flopping. Yeah, yeah. without flopping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Without, with, but, but uh, you, 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 there's a technique that I used to do uh, before before the player comes to me, I'm, I'm mm. moving, but by the time he comes to me, I, I push him a bit. No, okay. So it doesn't so, no, no. Yeah. yeah, para hindi masyado malakas. So yeah. it's not too... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then you just have put a bit of an act onto it, just roll over. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, nine out of ten, the the, the referee is called charging, especially yeah. with uh, Sergeant Igmijo Kahanding. If you remember, there you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the, the Manila they're, police. They're the partners. Yeah, yeah si Kahanding, uh -huh. the police. Ito yung mga yeah. partner, no? 1978 and 2014. Yeah. Oh, best man. Have a look at that here. Uh, yeah, that's what we were. <laughs> We were uh, sponsors to, to a wedding. Uh, okay. you, you rem I don't know if you remember Lulu. Lulu is uh, it's like yeah, a sister. She's, to uh -huh. her, she's her watching sister. right now. She's yeah. watching right now. Yes. Lulu Ignacio. She, yes. the, her sister's wedding. We, they, Ramon and I became sponsors on that mm -hmm. wedding. Ramon is the best man. He always get the best man. I don't. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe because. Serious? Maybe because he's good, more good looking than me. <laughs> Pero serious a serious po kayo. You're very serious in this the 1978 photo. 2014, you're smiling. Yeah, the two of you. <laughs> yeah, this one is uh, 24, 2014. Yeah. Yeah. Si Sir Guerrero 1970, parang bato-bato eh, no? So, uh, guys, check out yung color, huh? 78. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Grabe, no? Yung malapad talaga. Land the Elvis strip, Presley right? color. Elvis Presley, I think it is. Sir, sir, I'm curious. So you you finally made it to, to the PBA uh, as you were aiming yeah. to do, no? You you made it, but uh, you didn't, as you said earlier, you didn't play too much when you were with Tanduay. You didn't no. play too much, you know. And, and so how how did that make you feel? No, actually, that 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 brings me down a lot because when when I was in in PBA, I practiced. Every every day, and I I actually even motivate myself to to run. I used to live in near uh, near UST. I used mm -hmm. to run from there to to Meralco and Ortigas and back. Wow! And that's that's how I do that on on the off season. But then when when I when I played for um, Tanduay, Coach, I don't know what happened with uh, Coach Lois Haga. He he that he didn't fill me in. I was I was I became a bench warmer. Mm -hmm. I said yeah. I, I don't want to take this like this because when you when you when you practice and practice and practice and you don't you cannot apply it in the game, it's very frustrating. Mm -hmm. And that that really put me down. And then uh, I I was straight in after. After two years, I was trade in. They trade mm -hmm. me into uh, Honda Noritake. Mm. Okay. Uh, Cosetting. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. So I went there. I went there and and then try uh, tried it to if I can recover and 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 get into my career. When I got there, it's one of the thing that uh, brought me down as well because. As soon as I got there, coach Big Boy Reynoso was the was our coach. Mm -hmm. Big Boy Reynoso, Tino Reynoso was a, one of the players, and Jesse Soliano and Adolfo and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody, I mean nobody, speaks Tagalog. Bisaya. Nobody. They all speak Bisaya. 
Yeah, and I can I, I can I can understand I cannot understand even God Srinoso was talking to them in Visaya. Mm -hmm. I, I was so frustrated, so I said I better stop. And so I, I stopped. I stopped. I didn't want to play anymore. So I, mm -hmm. I, I went to Pampanga and stayed there. Mm -hmm. But then I uh, I was told and I met uh, Duro. Turo Valenzona mm -hmm. and asked me to uh, go and try it out in Gilby's Gin. Okay. Oh, okay. When, oh. At, the, at that time, when uh, was the was the name of that court general they have the the really Lee, General Lau. Yeah, oh, really? General Lau. Oh, okay. General Lau. Yeah. When I when I got there, I I, uh, I was with. Esto Estrada, Johnny uh, Revilla, mm -hmm. Boy Katz, myself, mm -hmm. uh, who else? There was five of us. So we, the five of us played against uh, the team. Oh my God, it was a nightmare. Johnny Revilla and Willie and Arlau, they had a fight. They had a fight of Santorana. Huh? They hit not exactly brawl, but first it started just uh, you know showing showing what they they have got you know like, mm -hmm. like I know this he knows that you know and then all of a sudden they just hitting each other in basketball like <laughs> very very rough and then so Coach Valenzuela stopped the screaming and. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just I just got the message that, that there's no need to continue. Okay. So that, that 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 ends up my career. I didn't want to play anymore. And I, okay. I, I came to I came to Australia. That was the time when I came to Australia. And you have a family okay. there when you moved to Australia? Yeah, my the first one who came here was my brother, my elder brother Joe. Yeah, he came here to Australia and then he, he invited me to come over here. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, I came here in Australia and the rest is history. Mm -hmm. <laughs> from from yeah. 19, I came here in January 1986 before before the Edsa Revolution because I watched uh -huh. it here. Yeah. And then up to now. Uh, um, and yeah, has, yeah. It, has it always been? Did you go directly to Melbourne, or were you somewhere else before? Yeah, that? yeah, we're, we're all in Melbourne. There's, we're six brothers here in Melbourne. Yeah, oh, we're, wow, we're, okay. we're we're all over Melbourne. We're not far mm -hmm. from each other. An hour, an hour drive. Okay, but but uh, after that, there's no. For me, my basketball career is good enough, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I uh, at least, at least I uh, I made it to the PPA, which right, is right. the which is the peak of any any basketball player's career. Correct. But uh, what happened here when I when I came here in, in mm -hmm. Australia is a different story because uh, I work uh, for Australia Post. Even now, even now, my Ooh. my job is here in Australia is, is I'm a contractor. A parcel delivery contractor with a Australia Post. Okay. But when I when I when I worked for Australia Post, I was uh, I was uh, in the mail center as, as a mail sorter. Mm -hmm. Then I was fortunate to uh, to knew a lot of friends and uh, and uh, if you like, I I, get, I got a bit uh, a little just a little bit famous. So uh, a friend of mine. Probably is watching now. Uh, that's the reason I, I want to talk English because they might not be able to understand me. Uh, uh, he asked me to be, to join him in the union, mm -hmm. in the hierarchy of the union. So I I tried it out. So I became a, a, a shop steward for my. Uh, Center. And after after became a became a sub chef I 
I became a liaison officer. This is all in the union part of the thing. In those days, uh, in in the 80s, uh, union here is very big. Mm-hmm. It, it's really strong. Mm-hmm. The government really recognized us. Mm-hmm. And then uh, after that, when I when I uh, left Australia Post and, and became a, a contractor, the the labor, the Spanish speaking labor people here, labor government, they asked me to run for the parliament. Okay. Oh, okay. And I said, no, I'm not a politician. Mm-hmm. Because I've got a few uh, records in, when I was a uh, leader of the union, because I represented the whole Australia in the union, the whole mm-hmm. Australia. Wow. All over okay. Australia. And they want me to join them to, to become a parliamentarian. I said, no, mm-hmm. I'm not a politician. I'm just I'm just doing my job when I did that. I said, sir, don't, don't <laughs> no, no. I said no. I said no. You declined. I never, yeah, I yeah. never liked politics. Mm-hmm. Same, same. <laughs> so did you uh, did you continue playing at some at any level when you transferred to Australia? Bami ma Pinoy leagues, Jan or whatever. That yeah, there were there were, some, yeah, there were some leagues here with the Filipinos. Yeah, mm-hmm. I actually played. Because uh, a lot of friends played here, so they asked me to play with them. I actually coach as well uh, as a playing coach. But the the players here, they didn't like my uh, way of playing, uh, even even the referees. Because oh, really? you were too physical. Uh, they didn't like. I don't know what's wrong with them. They they <laughs> they, they said that I I was too rough, and I was. Uh, <laughs> I was I was intimidating the the the, the umpires, and I actually I was I was cool to it because uh, the the center ma- the center manager asked me to to meet him at the tribunal because of how I play. Mm-hmm. I said, but I only I only play basketball. I, I don't do anything. They said uh, they, they told me I was too rough. And and the, the crazy. some players are getting hurt. I said, and and, and some umpires said they complained that I, I was so mean to them and I was I was uh, you know treating them bad. I said, really? Okay, where can you can you tell me? I said, where where what can I do with the umpires? Said, do you want me to serve them coffee and biscuits? <laughs> I said, no, but that's crazy. That's crazy for Australians to say exactly. that you're playing too rough because Australians I, are some of the roughest players in the world. Yeah. Oh my goodness! They're one of my friends. They are, he's actually he's actually he's watching now because they watch when the when Australia came to the Philippines and they had a fight and mm. throwing chairs yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm. I was that there, was a, mm-hmm. and that was the time when Peter, I saw Peter Aguilar join the the, the thing as well. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they asked me, you played in the professional basketball in the field this year? They, I said, yes. So do you throw chairs? And I said, is that normal for you to throw chairs to your opponent? And I said, no. It depends on who are we playing with. I said, <laughs> if a, a Filipino player plays on how the, the, the opponent plays. You play rough, they play rough. Right, you, if you want right. to play, play that game, we play your game. I said, look, I said, I spent more than half of my life in Australia, but I love Philippines. I said, but if you're talking about the Philippines and Australia, man, you got nothing that we don't have. You know, we have everything in basketball. We even played international basketball way before Australia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I, first came out here, when I first came out here in Australia in 1986, I went to watch basketball, the, the NBL, they call it NBL, National Basketball League. Yeah. Uh-huh. Would you believe I fell asleep in the stadium? <laughs> that, that is how boring it was. But now they, they picked up a lot because yeah. uh, most, most of the players now are 
are good and and yeah yeah they can really play good. in the NBA now. That's right. But in those days, I tell you what, coming coming from that from PBA, it, compared to PBA, it's nothing that one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry, so uh, a reunion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is you know in honor of Coach Nick, right? 2014. No, Coach Nick was sick then. I think he uh -huh. couldn't uh, make it. Yeah. yeah, too, yeah this yeah. was uh, this was this picture was uh, the first time that I met my teammates after 35 years. Wow, incredible! 35 yeah. years. Yeah, and, I'm uh, sure it was a sweet reunion. Oh. You know, it's like a, it's like a, you haven't seen your brothers so many years. Mm -hmm. And when you see them, it's just like you want to hug everyone. Yeah. You yeah. just want to have a good time with them, you know, and give them, give them a big hug. That's mm -hmm. how it is. Because that's, that's how we feel in, the, yeah. in our team. Because we, we, we feel like we're brothers and sisters. And uh, we love each other. Na galing ng samahan actually ng as we've seen from our past guests from PSBA, it's really a, a great uh, um, group, no, of guys that yep. still get together. Maganda kasi yung success that you had together, and then you all made it to the PBA and all of that. So, I mean, galing, uh, maganda talaga, no? Nakita na natin yeah. yan in the past. Yeah, and uh, of course sometimes, uh, even in a family, there is some conflict. Mm -hmm. Some, but uh, we we managed to fix it up. But right, right. Like uh, actually talking about reunion. Next year, December next year, Ramon and I will be going home. Okay, nice. we'll see you then. Going we'll back. see you then. Right? <laughs> and uh, we probably be having a reunion somewhere in in January twenty twenty five. The first week of January 2025. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we would love to invite you guys to our reunion and oh, see, of yourself, see for yourself God. how how, we, yeah. how it is and how happy it is. And we hey. we're all you know, God uh, willing, God willing, we can be there. If you invite God us, we will, will be there. We can all yeah. see each other. We, we can see you in person. So, sir, you're not retired until now. You mentioned you still run this business uh, with the yeah. post and all of that. Yeah. But, but uh, do you go to work every day or are you managing it remotely? How no, do you know I that? do go to work every day. I do wow. go to work. Because this my work is a hands-on work. You know, you have to be there and you have to do it. Nobody will do it uh, except me. Mm -hmm. But uh, talking about retirement, uh, I, I don't think I will retire. I might. Okay. What I do, what I might do is I might lessen my work, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. I, I can do it that way because it, there's a flexibility on my work. But to retire, that is out of my thing. Unless unless my <laughs> body goes down, I will then I will retire. If my mm -hmm. body cannot get up anymore, then I will retire. Right. Um, the truth is, if I retire especially here in Australia, or even in the Philippines, maybe. The question, the big question that I ask myself, what am I going to do? I cannot, I cannot sit down, relax, watch telly the whole day, and then lie in bed the night, uh, night time. <laughs> if I do that, I might as well die. <laughs> yeah. Because Look, my brother, my brother in America is a doctor, right? He's a retired doctor. He's a he's a cardiovascular doctor. He told me, he told me, uh, retiring is good, but if you have, if you remain active, if you retire and be in, inactive, your body will deteriorate very fast. That's what he said, and they yeah, yeah. they had. A, they actually had a survey in America, 20, 20 doctors who retired in America. 10, 10 doctors are uh, active and 10 inactive. And then 
after 10 years, when they survey them again, the 10 who are active, eight of them are still alive after 10 years. Mm -hmm. The inactive ones, they're all gone. <laughs> 10 out of now, 10. Did, did you want to retire then? No, no, I retire. If I have, probably if I have a, a billion dollars, then I'll retire. So I can get myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, right. No, it's, a, it's just a thing, yeah. It depends no, no, on the no. people. Because I got two friends here who retired when they were 55. They didn't even reach to 60. They were dead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, Danny Malastas, our friend Danny Malastas says, play golf every day. But unfortunately, you can't do that anymore, right, sir? We were, yeah. You were telling me. Even, even golf. I, I used to play golf, right? They, they always, us, uh, us players, we always say, at least if we play golf, we can walk, we can, we can uh, exercise and play golf. That's true. If you do it that way. But when I, when I when they asked me to play golf, I, I played. My brothers are still playing. They're good players. They're single handicappers. But me, when I play golf, every time I play golf, I used to cut. Well, what's the point? I'm not exercising. <laughs> <laughs> senorito golf, huh? senorito, senorito golf. <laughs> yeah. 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 I gave up. I actually. I actually sold all my uh, golf clubs. Uh, okay. Recently, I sold so that's all. not an option anymore. No, no. What, what, what I'm this this uh, job of mine keeps me active. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? And you so look I very have... fit, sir. You look very fit at yeah. your age. You know, parang ganda pa rin tayo. You look very uh, slim and trim. I, I I manage a bit. The only problem is my knee. That's all. But. Mm. Uh, I, I, I just ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> just go about it. Same uh, here. Yeah. I also have a, an injured uh, knee. So I, I just pretend no, it, 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 it plays up. It plays, it plays up every now and then, especially in winter. Uh -huh. In winter, oh, yeah. when it's cold weather, it plays up. Uh, doesn't matter. I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put a brace on. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The way it is. So, but this is still very active, and as you said, you you you'll probably be active all the way, no, uh, till whatever uh, you know. Uh, I hope pero, so. Pero, I, yeah. I and hopefully, hope we I, see you here yeah. next year uh, when you come over. No, mag mag kita kita hey, hey, I love to see that. I told I told Ramon, I told Ramon about about uh, our next reunion. Look, I said we have to invite uh, Charlie, Sid, and Jay, and whoever they, they their families. We have to have a, a, a reunion with them. Well, so I can tell you now, you are most welcome to come out to our reunion. If you don't, if you, if you don't like so many, even just us. Actually, I I, I'm, I was thinking of having a reunion with my PSBA teammates, and then with my uh, uh, interclub teammates, the likes of uh, Benji Publete uh, uh -huh. and. Maggie Segura, Nudge Matam, mm -hmm. Kabides and all that. If yeah. we can contact them, then we will have a reunion. If you want, we'll put them all together, all of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be great. I mean, gusto gusto namin yung mga ganyan, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so so oh. we really like that. Though. We can, you know, so, I, I, yeah. I bet you, you, you're all a good singer, so you can have a video. Charlie is. Charlie's the only one who's actually, who actually sings well. <laughs> oh, oh. Like, uh, like, like what Eric Leano said. Ah, oh, yeah, no, magaling komanta. Eric Leano, magaling komanta. Ah, oh, may nagpapa imbita daw. Nag may nagpapa nagpapa imbita oh. Danny, you're welcome. You're welcome. Come home uh, next year. Ah, huh? yes, Danny. Andito he's na siya. Andito na si Danny. Yeah, andito na he's, si. He's uh, he's moved na here. In oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And also Last saying year. hi to some some guys who are watching also. Ricky Relosa is watching. Eto Lobos uh, watching as well. You know, so salamat sa lahat ng nanood sa araw na ito. Oh. You know, Ricky, Ricky, when you mentioned Ricky Relosa, I don't know if he remembers. Uh, he played with Masagana 1992, I think. Yes, mm -hmm. he did. If I'm not mistaken. After but he played, but he, he played after I left. 
Yeah, I think so. Now he's back West Coast. Ano, West yeah. Coast na nga pala si Ricky Ren. Nag-West Coast yeah, na pala West si Ricky. Yeah, nimipat na rin. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, just recently. So, Why? He's, he's over he's there. Been, you know. Huh? Uh, what's that, sir? West Coast, Ricky Lelosa. Oh, West Coast na siya. Dat- dati yung East Coast siya eh. Sa New Jersey area siya ngayon. Nasa, kasama na rin yata nila yeah. sa side Maybe. ni Bernie. And Maybe he doesn't like the cold weather in New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah, in New, not. New Jersey, they, they used to get blizzard. That's right, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. That's LA, LA, LA pala. Specifically, it's in LA. Okay, nasa LA, nasa LA si Ricky ngayon. And right now, uh, Sir Ver was telling us earlier before we went on the air that it, it's spring in, in Australia and the weather is really nice. And, yeah. Diba? yeah. So maybe we'll visit you soon. Huh? Yeah. Kaya ka na rin ni, you know, ni Etok. Ito si Etok Lobo, musta? Yeah. Yan, Chicago yeah. naman dyan. Lumalamig, malamig na dyan sa Chicago. Palamig na dyan. Mm-hmm. Oh, then, yeah. Yeah. This, this time last battle. year, Sir Etok Alam mo, itong... Here. Oh, itong eh, itong Eternity of Basketball parang ano to eh reunion place din ito eh nag <laughs> nag-uusap-usap yeah, like, like what I said I, I think since uh, basketball time in the Philippines I think uh, you guys you guys should be uh, should be appreciated in what you do because in the, this kind of thing the, the only the only the, the the good thing that happens in the, in your what you do is that like like now can can Danny Manalasta say hello to me apart from he, if if you're not here because I'm not I'm not his friend and actually nobody 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 knows before nobody knows that I'm here in Australia yeah. now everyone knows that I'm here in Australia. Yeah. Oh, and then we, 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 we thank Peter Aguilar for that. He's the one who connected us to Serbia, oh, yeah, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Peter yeah. Aguilar. Yeah. So, salamat kay yeah. Peter. I thank Peter. Uh, I'm lucky in, uh, that, uh, that on that day that I, I rang Peter, he messaged me. He messaged yeah. me. And I said, and so I, I rang him. And he said, yeah. uh, Peter, uh, I said to him, Peter, how are you? I, I, I was just con- congratulating him. Uh, for his son's gold medal, you know, mm-hmm. in, a, in the Asian Games. Asian yeah. Games, oh, Asian Games, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I said, actually, Peter, Peter Aguilar, I knew Peter and uh, late Ray Quenco before they even played in Manila. Mm, okay, because, yeah, I, I played with them uh, or oh, and against them in Pampanga. Then I, I, I told, why don't you try it out in Manila? Yeah, you know, it's, there's some opportunity, and they did, and good. Mm-hmm. And a national team, pa silang dalawa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it's very good. Then it's magtaka maganda yun yeah, the day niyo mag, di ba yung nag-usap kayo ni Peter when you spoke to Peter that same day. I think he put us on a call, right? We, we, yeah, yeah, we talked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said to me, "You, you just wait. I'll bring you back. I'll ring, I'll ring Charlie, so you, we can, we can talk to him, and see if he can schedule you for the AOB." I said, <laughs> "I said, no, don't worry. I, I'm not that. I'm not that uh, uh, famous player. So, you know, Never it, a problem. It might, be, it might not be for me that one." I said, "But then when I." When he rang me back and, and you were there, Charlie, uh, I said, well, what can I say? I'll just say, say yes. Uh, yes. Of I'm, course. I'm, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a type of person that who cannot say no to friends, you know? <laughs> well, we thank you for that. We thank you. We appreciate you sharing our story with us. So, yeah, very, you know, best, we, you know it's, it's an hour and best, 45. The pleasure is mine. The oh, pleasure well, is it's, mine. It's, it's mutual. It's definitely mutual. So you know, we we're, we've kept you too long already. We're gonna enter our so that that was time capsule. All those photos that Sid prepared, great photos, of course, to reminisce. But we're now entering the Twilight Zone, our final segments for our show. And the first segment of the Twilight Zone is, as usual, XSROs brought to us by Tuminugan Farm, the private paradise at the heart of Bukidnon. You can, if you need to relax and unwind, rejuvenate and reconnect with nature right at the foot of the Kitanglad Mountain Range in Bukidnon. 
Choose from a wide range of accommodations like the farmhouse, the bungalow, the cottage, or the tulugan. And Tuminugan Farm can accommodate entire families, groups of friends, backpackers, and even team building events. So go to tuminuganfarm.com or their IG or FB for more info. Book now. You can start your Mindanao adventure there today. Okay, so punta kayo dyan sa Tuminugan Farm. Okay, sir, XSROs, I have a bunch of, I have a list of choices for you. I think you've seen this before. You just choose that, tell me your choice. You don't have to explain why. Just tell, tell me what your choice is. Let's go down the list, sir, one by one. Number one. Yeah, Number one, Bilbao, Web, or Canent? You want me to choose among those three? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to choose. I'll choose uh, Rene Canent. Rene Canent, yeah. I, I expected that. Okay, how about this? Uh, David Payne or Bernard Harris? None. 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 Sorry. None. Okay, okay. None. <laughs> okay. How about this? Joy Cleofas or Bochoc de los Santos? Joy Cleofas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Abit Gutierrez or Jimmy Manansala? My goodness, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot chuck any one of them. <laughs> it's a tie. Uh, yeah. Very, tie. very, very, very tight. Huh? Okay, okay. How about this? Abe Monzon or Bert De La Rosa? I'll go Abe. Abe, okay. Jimmy Tagines or Dave Supnet? My goodness. <laughs> I'll, I'll get... I'll, uh, I'll put a, a little bit of edge for Jimmy Tagines. Okay. Because you're a Okay. Dave, Dave, Dave Supnet is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a good friend because we're both sitting next to each other all the time on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get close that way. Huh? Okay, yeah. next. Coach Coach Kaloy Loisaga or Coach Ding Panganiban? I'll go uh, Panganiban. Panganiban, okay. Okay. Scoring or guarding? Say that again, sorry. Scoring or defending? Scoring. Oh, look. Uh, look uh, In, in basketball games, the only one who uh, who gets the people's heart is the one who's scoring. But I'm more on defending than than mm -hmm. scoring. Yeah, yeah, that's what you said. Okay, defending. Okay, which season was better for you, the 1977 PBA season or the 1978 PBA season? No, I thought, I was, let let me just uh, correct that. I I started PBA in 1978. 78 or 79. Yeah. Oh, 78, 79. Sorry, okay. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so like what I said, uh, it's not so flash in my uh, PBA mm -hmm. career. So I'll just say 78. Okay. So, rookie okay. year. Got it, yeah. got it. How about this, Crispa or Toyota? Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. They're just the same, I guess. Okay, okay. Just just the same. How about this? Oh, let's go stateside. Celtics or Lakers? I'll go Celtics. Celtics. Happy, <laughs> happy to see it. Happy to see it. Okay. Huh? Okay. There's no doubt about that. You remember the imports that you played against uh, in the PBA? Cyrus Mann or Byron Snake Jones? I go Cyrus. Cyrus, yeah. Okay. Fast break or slow it down? Fast break. Fast mm -hmm. break. And okay. why? <laughs> Horacio Moreno or Rick Katakutan? Oh my goodness, uh, Horace. Horace. And, uh, I go Rick. I go Rick. Rick. Okay, Rick. you go Rick. Okay, you go Rick. Okay. Billy Robinson or Cisco Oliver? I, I go Billy. Billy Robinson. Billy. Okay. Ito, mga shooter, Boggs Adornado or Jun Papa? I go Boggs. Boggs is good. Oh. Mon Fernandez or Philip Cesar? I go both. I go both. 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 Oh, okay. Idol naman pareho yan. Okay. Next photo, please. Let's look at the photo, Carly. Yeah, ito. Al Pacino or Robert De Niro? I go De Niro. De Niro. De Niro wins. Okay, okay. And the last one. Please show it. 
Nora or Vilma? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know they're they're my time, but I'm not into this thing. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. But I'm you have to choose. Friends. You have to choose. You, you oh can't my. say no. <laughs> If I choose, I'll choose uh, my my cousin Vilma Santos. Oh, Santos, oh, gapa. Oh, yes. <laughs> Tama, pinsa ni. Eh. <laughs> galing, galing. Uh, okay, the Texas are old for episode the one ninety six. One ninety six, gapa. Okay, how about you, Jay? It's your turn. Yeah, Server. Uh, this is Noel's um, segment, no. Um, I'd like to ask you, since you kept mentioning that your preference is more on defense than scoring, who who are the free Toughest players to guard uh, that you have or uh, that, you, that you have guarded in your career, whoever in the amateurs or in the professionals. Who are the top three players that you found difficulty guarding? Well, uh, the, um, in in my I can only uh, do as much as uh, in the amateur. Okay. In the amateur, I would say the the hardest part to guard is uh, the late uh, Anthony De Salia. Wow. Okay. okay. Anthony Dasalia and also Manasigan of uh, UST. Mario Manasigan. Okay. Mario, Mario, okay. Hayo pa. Guess din natin yan. Oh. In, in PBA, he, he might be my uh, teammate, but it's hard to guard Mike Bilbao. Okay. Oh, okay. That's nice. So, nababantayan mo si Mike Bilbao in practice? You were, you were guarding him in practice? Yeah. I'm not exactly me guarding him, but, you know, Sometimes I do, mm -hmm. but uh, he is very good because he's got this ball away from his body. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. how he dribbles. Yeah, away yeah. from his body, okay. but there, and you're dead. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, yeah, yeah. once once he he moved, he can fake his move at any time. Okay. That's why he knows. And then all of a sudden, he's... <laughs> Three, four steps away from you. Is right. he just physical? Like, just like Rene. Rene Canet okay. is his time. You know, Rene, you might you might think that he's going this way. All of a sudden, he, he gives you the... They have that kind of move, which okay. you have to look for and you have to learn before mm. you can duck them. Right. Before right. you can check them really right up. Yeah, and they were herky jerky. They were herky jerky. Those guys, especially yeah, Kanem. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I got a teammate, like I told you, he's a boy Asque. Mm -hmm. Asque. He his uh, his idol is uh, Danny Danny Florencio. Mm -hmm. This guy boy Asque, if he gets a, a, a fast break, he's a guard player. He can run 150 kilometers per hour, <laughs> right? And you run after him, all of a sudden he stops and take a jump shot, and you're still running. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, how, yeah. that's how good he is. <laughs> you know, you, you go, you go past him, and then he will take a shot. So yeah. he's, he's really good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So those are the three: huh? Bilbao, Marasigan, and Dasali. Okay, Sid Ventura, ikaw naman. Okay, yes. My segment, first of all, brought to you by Founders Donuts, Coffee and Tea. Doesn't get any better than this. Napakasarap ng donuts na yan. Check out their branch here in, Pal uh, in Palanan, Makati. Ayan. Ayan. Delivery Excited today. na ako. Excited or, na ako. Really, yeah. Founders Donuts. Doesn't... Pampataba. Donuts. Pampataba. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> my, my question for you, uh, server, is uh, if you could have dinner, with any basketball personality, okay, past or present, living or dead, US based or uh, Philippine based, Europe, whatever, uh, who would it be and why? What would you ask him? This is, this is quite easy because I, I really and dearly love to have dinner with Michael Jordan in his restaurant, <laughs> okay, Michael Jordan's restaurant in Chicago, yeah, all right, in Chicago because. I, I have, I've never been to Chicago. I, I wanted to go to Chicago just to see his uh, his uh, restaurant there. Mm -hmm. I, I dearly love to to have if he if he if he will let me. <laughs> well, yes, <laughs> it's uh, it's your uh, no no man, it's your <laughs> fantasy. So Michael Jordan, what would you ask him, if ever? I, I, I would ask him why did 
why did he leave basketball for baseball? That's mm -hmm. the, the only question that I want to ask. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's you know? the real story? But what's the real story? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's totally different. Not only that a different size of the ball, but a different category of sport. Mm -hmm. You know? Very, very different. I would love to know that, but I don't know if I can, uh, I'll get the answer. <laughs> yeah, maybe eventually yeah. go go visit Etok Lobo in, in Chicago and maybe yes. you guys can go together yeah, yeah yeah I would love to I would love to actually next time I go I go to America uh, I would love to have a reunion with all those uh, PBA players and, and even non PBA players in, in America mm -hmm. because last time I only had a reunion with Rene Canet and uh, Mondison Ben O'Brique Steve Esteban and and uh, some uh, few few uh, players there that I, I didn't know them, but uh, Rene, they were before mm -hmm. my time. Rene Canet mm -hmm. introduced me to them, but I forgot their names. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, pasok tayo sa na. Huli, huli na. Hello, Porky tayo. Hello, Porky. This is the greeting portion of our show, sir. I was telling you. So it's your chance now to give a shout out, to say hello, say thank you, acknowledge anybody you'd like to. You can do that now before we end the show. Look, I, I reckon this is this is the hardest part of your segment, you know, because sometimes <laughs> when you say hello, when you say hello to everyone, and then you you miss some. They will say, "Well, what about me?" Away, away, answer, away. First of first of all, I, uh, I would like to thank you guys for having me in your show and. Uh, and uh, my pleasure to be in your show. Secondly, I, 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 would say, I would like to say thanks to Peter Aguilar for hooking me up with, with you guys. And uh, saying hello to everyone here. Uh, outside in, the, in, in America, with, with Ramon, of course, Rene, Ben, Steve Tucci, Bobby De Los Reyes, Bobby De Los Reyes, by the way, he played for uh, PMI. Mm -hmm. uh, my cousins, uh, George and Abe, and my cousins, Charlie and Gary Layub, Ramon Layub, and to my brother, Dr. Rod Santos uh, in New Jersey. Now, to my teammates in, in, in PBA, uh, Joy Cleopas, Abed Gutierrez, Jimmy Taguines, Jimmy Manansala, Rick Katakutan, Vic Sanchez, Mike Bilbao, and Abe Monson say hello. Uh, here in Australia, I would like to say hello to all to my friends, my brothers, Ed, Ramir, Ramon, Joe, and Jess. To my daughters, Joanne and Rachel, and my grandkids, Cooper and Peyton. And to all my friends in Australia, a special mention to Amante and John in Intercell. And in the Philippines, to all my teammates, Nilo Cruz, Romy Machas, Roy de Guzman, uh, Lulu, Eva, Terry, Len, Timmy, Jill, Tina. Hopefully I mentioned everyone, including Romy, <laughs> Romeo Machas. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss anyone. Uh, and... Uh, Special uh, hello to my sister, my only sister in, in the Philippines, Angie, and her son, Brian. And to all my cousins, especially God and Nono. And uh, last but not least, to my uh, found new family in Masambong, Tondo, and Montalban. Hello to everyone, and thank you very much. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Sid, and thank you, Jay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hopefully, we'll see you on a, on, on my next visit to the Philippines, <laughs> our reunion. It would be we our would pleasure, sir. Just, just let us know. Balitaan lang po ninyo kami, and we will we'll make it uh, will, make it there. Uh, now that we're we're friends in Messenger, I will let you know. That's for sure. Nice. All right. Even so, guys. Yeah, that, that's that's the Ver Santos story, everyone. So that's uh, another PSBA Jaguar who has graced our show for episode 196. Before we let him go, we'd like to remind everyone we're part of the Globally Ballin Network. Thanks to Globally Ballin, Carla, Aaron, everyone behind the scenes. Maraming salamat. We are powered by San Miguel Corporation. 
in cooperation with Tuminugan Farm, Fitbit, and Founders Donuts. Uh, thanks for, to those uh, friends. Thank you to PBA Archives and PH Sports Bureau for the photos and the information every week on the show. Happy birthday sa mga nag-birthday sa AOB family this past week. Vic Sanchez, referee Jeff, Jess Thompson, Jimmy Manansala, and Coach Jolie pa. Mga teammates ni Sir Berry. Ano, si Vic at si Jimmy. Yep. Of course, Coach Joe. Uh, happy birthday. So, happy birthday sa inyo lahat. Uh, and uh, that does it for episode 196. It's now in the books. Ver Santos Daniel. was our guest. Thank you so much. Happy birthday to Danny Manalastas. Yes. Happy, happy birthday. birthday happy birthday. Yan. Okay, so uh, nagwawakas na po ang ating episode. It's now in the books for Jay Mercado, Sid Ventura, and of course, Noel Zarate, always with us in spirit. Ako po si Charlie Kuna. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay sa aming show weekly. We will announce yeah. our next guest as soon as we can. And please join us next yeah. week. Sir, where? Pabula pabula. Po kayo. Oh, thank pabula you. Pabula. Happy, happy birthday to my dad on one day. Thank you for time. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thanks Ingat po kayo. Everybody. everybody, God bless you all. I will see you soon. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys. Thanks, Carly. A leader in key sectors so vital to the growth of our nation. Food, beverage, packaging, infrastructure, energy, and power. Proudly Filipino, through our well-loved brands, we carry the flag overseas. Yet we've always held out for ourselves a larger purpose. To use our scale, size, and dynamism to deliver products and services that can unlock and accelerate new opportunities for growth and drive our economy forward. We are committed to contribute to a resilient and globally competitive Philippines where businesses like San Miguel can use their resources and imagination to expand the economy and ensure that prosperity is widely shared. Today, our focus is on generating investments and projects that will enable our country to achieve its full promise. Malasakit is woven into all that we do, from ensuring that more Filipinos are food secure, have access to reliable, sustainable, and affordable energy, world-class roads, airports, mass transit, stronger communities, and greater economic opportunities. We are helping build the Philippines that can carry our 110 million strong population into a future whose defining challenges of our time will be an energy transition, resource scarcity, and the need for greater inclusiveness. As a company, we have set our sights on building the nation of our dreams. By leveraging our expertise, leadership, and reach, As San Miguel, we will do what it takes to build a better future for all Filipinos.